Hello tubers. Today we have some further results on the over volted turbine, 48 volt turbine on a 24 vat volt battery bank. So here is some further findings on this testing which are interesting because I figured out a way to fool this uh, charge controller into working with this line. Now this goes to 200, two 100 watt solar panels and I have activated those 200 watt solar panels into the equation with the wind turbine. But understanding that they will keep the solar charge controller active but they're also going to add their watt hours to the outcome of what this meter is. So therefore my concern was can I get 800 watts which is 50% of the capacity of the rated wind turbine which is 48 volt 600 watts. So in that search earlier we had the question will it work on part three. We already know yes it'll work but we just don't want to do it because it works. We want real world tests to say why it's worthy of doing. And that question is of one. If I only have rated winds on an average wind speed of 20 kilometers an hour, no matter the turbine, that is only going to spin the turbine up and start to create power. So that doesn't justify buying a turbine. But it does say that I could test with a higher voltage turbine to get lower volt results in the same wind at 20 kilometers an hour that I otherwise would not get. So we understand that does it work? Yes it does. But what can it do? Meaning doing it is it worthy of doing? Well again if it can hit the so-called 800 watt no I did not see that but it's only today that this has been uh, set with those solar panels to fool this charge controller to stay active. With that said, that allows me to test and as one can see on those numbers I got 4.9 amps so we're going to call it 5 amps right here. That is 5 amps from the two 100 watt solar panels and that is 137 watts. So somewhere in them numbers. Now to get an accurate number we would have to subtract the solar panel readings from the overall watt hours which I do not have so that can't be accurate and yep here we go again there's going to be a follow-up of test 4 but that can only be done with another charge controller which would be the watt hours over time which would in turn justify why would someone do this with an over voltage turbine when they can run the same voltage turbine well in low winds you're going to harvest nothing that this one could or should harvest more up. That's the interest. Understanding that, I cannot give you the accurate watt hours because it's equated with the solar panels that are used to keep the charge controller active. So when the turbine spins up and down, I can get the readings of what are the capacity of the turbine I'm using. So my initial goal was to get 50% as stated in the readmes. No, I have not seen that. I can tell you I did see 700 watts. Now at that point the solar panels were only producing just under 100 watts so the benefit of the doubt is the turbine has created 600 watts with the parasitic load of the solar panels taking the other 100 watts. That is a fair analogy. So moving forward I cannot give you the watt hours but I could when the Midnight Classic give the watt hours to justify is this worth doing. So that is the concern and as to date Yes, I've seen the wind turbine in 30 kilometer winds in my location hit above 600 watts. It was 700 and some watts. Now, because it fluctuates fast and one has to watch it, we will just monitor as the turbine swings in and out of the wind. Presently, that is solar power created only. The turbine is not spun up in 30 kilometer winds, but when it does, we can monitor what it can do. So I can only say that if we had 40 and 50 kilometer hour winds I am very confident in these numbers that we're seeing that it would more than reach the so-called 50 
50% of its capacity with a higher voltage turbine on a lower voltage battery. But it's not factual. In the future, when we test for the watt hours, as there has to be a part four follow up on this for them reasons, to know whether or not it's going to justify why someone would do this and is it worth doing. So, for those reasons, we started out this journey as this so called part three video. For the reasons of one, did it work? Yes, it does. Two, is it going to hit its rated capacity at 50% of its value with an overvolted turbine? I believe the answer to that is very clear, and yes, it will. Now, that is only an opinion. It's not yet factual, but in 30 kilometer winds, I think it's an easy call to say yes. The next question is for what can I create? So as we monitor this, we are back down to just the solar panels once again to fool the charge controller into uh, staying active would allow one to test the turbine to see what its capacity is in 30 kilometer winds. Turbine has spun down. So the Midnight Classic has not yet arrived, and that will give me the watt hours over time. Now, with this solar fix, it will only allow me to test in sun hours. So it's not ideal, and I don't recommend anyone doing it but it will allow me to test on and only for the reasons that I can figure out the capacity of the turbine. Once again, I would say we're at somewhere, well, the rate of wind speeds of this today are given to be 30 kilometer winds up to. And now one can just imagine what the outcome would be if you had the 40 and 50 kilometer winds in, in the winter time. In my per application, interest is I know in the winter time I'm looking for the lower capacity winds to be able to charge all the time to eliminate generator runtime. So with that information I don't really need this turbine to function in the spring and the fall. Now possibly uh, early spring possibly if no sun and later fall with no sun yes but the main purpose of this is for the winter time. So the question is left of one. I believe not only will this hit its rated speed of the so-called 800 watts with the double overvolted wind turbine in the 30 kilometer winds. Once again, if it was matched with 40 and 50 kilometer winds like it would in the winter time here, more often than not, I believe I would clearly exceed them values. So for today, for these testing results, I have satisfied that information that it will more than hit that rating, or I believe it too, but we will find out that more as we test further on for the final video, which will be part four coming. And it will determine the watt hours over time, as well as the watts created. So that will further justify the theory as to, will it work and will it hit this 50% capacity? Well, that's two of three that I can pretty much evaluate to say yes it will and it works in lower winds where another turbine that would be equally matched to the voltage of the battery would otherwise not get so understanding that the next goal of the video will be of one watt hours over time what does it create on a higher voltage wind turbine in a lower voltage battery so until next time guys this is some information i do have as the latest update and well Number four is going to have to come to conclude the final answer to at least my questions. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and 
Have a great day.